Here's a video on your power supply connections for the controller. This 24 volt power supply on the right side, you've got two positive connections and two negatives. So we're coming out of a plus with this wire and minus with that wire. Uh, this is adjustable. So you could dial this up just a little bit to get 24.0. Uh, notice the amperage is indicated right below that. So right now it's taking about a tenth of an amp. Uh, if I slide over to the controller itself, uh, you can see down he down here, we've got um, trying to get in where you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, VDC plus and minus, that's the processor power. So we have to have that connected plus and minus, okay? Um, you'll notice a couple of jumpers here, a jumper from V. DC plus down to FP plus. FP plus is the field power. So that's for my, my output connectors over here. Uh, down here, um, down here at the bottom, let me try to get my pen in there. Uh, we've got some connections called V. So V is the power supply voltage. Over here on this connector, we have some connections labeled C. C is for common, and that's the FP minus connection down here at the bottom. So we skip over the center connection. That's called the case ground. Uh, normally, if this was in a metal enclosure, we would go ahead and ground it. Um, but I do have to put a jumper from V plus to FP plus, and another jumper from V minus to FP minus. So those are the two jumpers that you see right here. Um, all of these wires, with the exception of the power supply, they, they are easily removed. You push in these little orange dots, you push the dot in and the wire will slide out, okay? So it makes it easy to, to make connections without any tools. You will need a small screwdriver to make these power supply connections, however. Uh, you can unscrew this connector. There's a screw on the top and a screw on the bottom down here. If you unscrew it, you can pull this connector off. It makes wiring it up a lot easier. Um, these connectors also come off. If you loosen that screw at the top and the bottom, the connector will come off. I've never had to do that because with this, with this push-in type, you just push the wire in and you're done. Um, so all of these wires need to come out. We'd like to do a fresh start, so we don't want a lot of wires running everywhere. Uh, for, for our class, we're going to use the, the we have 16, for example, we have 16 uh, outputs here. We're gonna use eight through 15 for our class and inputs eight through 15. Uh, the other class is using the zero through seven, so we're gonna leave those alone. So we've got two classes running off the same processor. Uh, our wiring will be for us, and, and they'll leave our stuff alone and vice versa. We'll leave their stuff alone. The program will change every day, but, but the wiring will not, okay? So just to kind of recap, we have power coming in off the, let me zoom out. Power coming in off the power supply, goes into the, the top connections here. We have a jumper that comes down. V plus to FP plus, V minus to FP minus. Um, I don't have to add any wires to the IO connectors. Uh, internally, it brings over 24 volts to the V pins. And if, let me zoom back in one more time on that. You can see if I get to the same level that it's the bottom four, okay? So we have uh, zero through seven and then two at the bottom, so these two at the very bottom will have 24 volts on them, okay? Uh, if you wanna measure that, if you have a voltmeter on you, you can go from V on this side to C on this side, and you should have 24 volts across there.